This is Groovy TV. I am Jay Peter on I'm at Breckenridge Brewery, and we are having some fun talking, drinking, and playing. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with the wicked, wicked, wicked artist, Jay Peter Onitz, who's got these amazing cards, and also you did some wicked art for this year's Denver Comic Con. How the heck are you, sir? I am uh, drinking, and that's a good thing. I'm very happy. I'm very excited to be here. And I I'm love excited that you're here as well. Well, thank you. What do you Appreciate got? What's going on? Okay, so... The critically acclaimed, I, I am going to say that at the very least. Well, I'm a critic and I actually dig them, so yeah. Okay, perfect. Critically acclaimed card deck, Magicians Must Die, or card series, Magicians Must Die, has issue number four coming out, releasing at Denver Comic Con this year. Sweet. So you've got to come see me, come check that out. It's got two stories going on at the same time with the two covers on the deck. The other deck I'm playing with here is DeVoe Vom Schattenreich, wow. because you got to say it that way. The Dominion. What does that mean? I have no idea. That's his name, but he um, does these awesome playing cards. These are his new Dominion specials, which you will also have available at Denver Comic Con. Great for fanning, great for cards, and if you just like poker, good for that, too. Right on. That's awesome. And uh, the card tricks that go on in your booth are ridiculous. Yeah, and he's been training this year, too. Okay. So if you want to see some ridiculously fun stuff and you yeah. want to see some crazy new things that you didn't think you anybody could ever do with cards, stop by booth 322. That's where Handlords is this year, and that's where okay. DeVoe will be showing it off. Awesome, awesome. And if, in case someone doesn't know about Magicians Must Die, the decks, like, how is the comic book end of it presented? Um, on the back of the cards, so the front here, and I'll see if I can do the fan with my left hand, which is always a challenge. There you go. <laughs> Playing cards. And then if you flip them over on the back, it's actually a comic book. So this is a comic series here. And when you lay it all out, you get a full issue of a comic book on each deck of cards. That is so cool. Well, thank you. Yeah. I, I actually have a one and two, I missed three, and I'm looking forward to four. So I, I need to get three and four at the con. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll have all of them there, one through four, and number one has sketch covers on it. So if you want a custom cover or a custom sketch from the artist or any of your favorite artists that are here or elsewhere or at Denver Comic Con when they get there, then by all means, go get them to do a custom cover for you, man. That'd be badass. Absolutely. Right on. Yeah. Well, speaking of custom stuff, you have uh, some really exciting things going on over here. Yeah, this is some cool stuff, and I, I'm, I'm not sure how much we can show yet, but... I think everything. Absolutely. We have um, awesome badges happening this year for Denver Comic Con. <laughs> Which I absolutely love. And I got to say, I want this one. I publicly want, so I want to say I want this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the con guys. Maybe they'll hook you up. But I will have prints of these. Both are in um, trading card size, postcard size. Mm -hmm. um, I will have the posters, of course, at the Denver um, Comic Con merch booth and at my booth. Okay. And... Um, I'm also doing metal prints this year of the badges, so I'll have eight of those available of wow. each print. So if you really, really like the designs and you really, really like the badges, come on to the table. Yeah, because I like the whole Stormtrooper, Battlestar Galactica, oh, yeah. Cylon thing. With I mean that I when I saw that earlier, actually last week, I was like, yes, this is this is the one I want. So how, how do I get this, Jay? Um, you come talk to me, and I sell you the drawing. I don't know how you get the actual badge. I don't remember which one that is. Um, the Spider-Man one, though, is by far my favorite. This guy really? up here. I love the Spider-Man one. Okay. And I don't know why. I think it came out really well. It looks really good. That's the kids' badge, because my three daughters said we want the Spider-Man badge. And since they have kids' badges, I said, hey, can that be the kids' badge? And the crew said yes. That's so awesome. This Star one, Star Wars one's really sweet, too. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. They're all really good. Uh, yeah, they are. I said it hesitantly because... That's, again, <laughs> that's a Back from the Future <laughs> yes. actually going yep. on there. Back to the Future. I love the Back to the Future badge. I think that one's just amazing. Back to the Future. Sorry. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> Um, the Flash one, I think, came out really, really well. That's the Speed Pass this year, so all of you that were early enough to pick that up, you get an awesome Flash badge. Nice. So, yeah, these are going to be pretty cool. Back to the Future is the three-day. Is that a Serenity? Yeah, that's a Serenity. It's Malcolm Reynolds. Awesome. Absolutely. 
Just put two and two together. That's sweet. Well, he's holding the Firefly, which I think is kind of funny and kind of cute. And I really want to model Firefly after drawing that. It's like, yes, it'd be so awesome. Just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing ever. Right. Yeah. Right. And the greatest show. And, and yeah. it's it's not there. Greatest anymore. movie. Oh, yeah. Amazing yeah. movie. And unfortunately, Wash died, but that's okay. <sighs> Can we get some tissues over here? <laughs> I'll get over it. It's all right. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to be at the con, too. I know. So, so he survived in a weird way. Yeah, Alan Tudyk. Um, weird how he did that with that big just spike coming out of his chest, and yet here he is. He must have been a med kit close or something. That guy had to be. Had to be. Yeah. Maybe they're using the um, uh, flesh technology from Age of Ultron oh, to yeah, like yeah. rebuild. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for those of... Those of us who haven't seen it yet, so um, that doesn't happen in Age of Ultron at all. That's, Promise. That's from like Transformers or something. Right, right. Trans yeah, yeah, something. <laughs> all right. So, what else are you gonna be doing at the con besides all this awesome stuff? Um, I am the liaison for the Art Institute, who is going to be sponsoring the convention this year. Oh. So, um, we are going to have 15 panels with the Art Institute all about um, education and what you can do and um, with art, for art, by art. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, the school, obviously, and what the school can do artistically and some of the professors there are going to be showing off. We have um, professors who have worked on movies like uh, Attack of the Clones, um, nice. Age of Ultron, wow. um, the Transformers movies. Um, pretty much anything ILM, one of our professors there did a lot of the lighting work for that. And um, we have a professor there who did a lot of work on the Peanuts comics okay. and the Peanut um, animation. So he's going to be there presenting some things too. Um, I'm going to be there presenting stuff, and I'm just kind of cool, <laughs> you know. Score, buddy. Yeah, right. Woo. Um, <laughs> so, are you? Do you have your own panel? Are you moderating? What are you doing? Um, both. I'm going to be oh. um, moderating a panel on creating an animatic. Okay. So a lot of the pre-work before the actual animation in uh, cartoons and like some of the deleted scenes that you see on a lot of the Disney shows. So how you get to that point. Um, I'm doing a superhero creation panel, which is oh. going to be cool. So I'm um, moderating and on that one and some third thing, which I don't remember what it is because I'm being overscheduled, which is fine. <laughs> I'm in demand. <laughs> Good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> so, yeah, one, once, once <laughs> in my lifetime, I'll be in demand. I'm sure there'll be a lot more coming after this, man. <laughs> See, here's hoping. Here's hoping. Awesome. So, so, okay, besides all the crazy stuff you're doing, panels moderating, your own booth, what are you most excited about for the con that doesn't have to do with any of all that stuff? Um, I'm really excited to see Eric Kennedy and Sean Crystal. Really? Yeah. Sean Crystal was the program coordinator when I went to um, Savannah College of Art and Design in Atlanta and got my master's degree in sequential art. Okay. Dude is a monster. He just did the Arkham Manor series. Wow. So all six issues of Arkham Manor were his. He's working on a um, Howard the Duck Galaxy of the Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy team up right now okay. um he did the phantom x max series dude is amazing great great artist and eric kennedy is doing run love kill right now okay he was also a storyboard artist on um tron uprising no. killer artists can't wait to see those guys so, so awesome yeah looking forward to them right on man thank you so much for your time absolutely. Thank cheers you, sir. absolutely this is groovy we're at breckenridge brewery with j peter on <laughs> yeah. <Got> Two-pointer. <laughs> Two-pointer, man. That's behind the line. Woo. <laughs> See you at Denver Comic-Con. Bye. <laughs>